everybody, my name is Dana Scheider, and in this video I'm going to explain the concept of integers. To understand integers, you'll need to know about natural numbers, whole numbers, and negative numbers. If you haven't learned about those things yet, my earlier videos in this playlist can help clarify them. You don't have to know about fractions and decimals or be comfortable with arithmetic to understand integers. You can also understand integers without understanding why they're important. In my video about natural numbers versus whole numbers, I mentioned number sets. Number sets are groups of different types of numbers. Natural numbers and whole numbers are two examples of number sets. Integers are another number set. A number can be in more than one number set, and in fact, most numbers are in more than one. To review, natural numbers are also called counting numbers and include any positive number you might count to starting with 1. Whole numbers include all natural numbers as well as 0. So all natural numbers are whole numbers. 0 is a whole number but not a natural number. Now for integers. The set integers includes all whole numbers. It also includes the negative versions of whole numbers. So if you start counting at 0 and count up, you're counting whole numbers. Now, if you count down and go past zero into negative numbers, you're counting integers. If you look at the whole number line, like the one on the screen here, without fractions or decimals, you're looking at the set of integers. Fractions and decimals are not integers. So now you know three number sets. Natural numbers, whole numbers, and integers. There is overlap in these sets. All natural numbers are whole numbers and all whole numbers are integers. But negative numbers are not considered natural numbers or whole numbers, and they are considered integers, as long as they're not fractions or decimals. Here's a diagram that shows the relationships between natural numbers, whole numbers, and integers. Natural numbers and whole numbers are subsets of integers, which is just another way of saying that all natural numbers and all whole numbers are also integers. If you understand positive and negative numbers, <clears throat> and the idea of number sets, the idea that there are different kinds of numbers, then integers shouldn't be too hard for you. Still, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. If you have a question, I guarantee somebody else has the same question and will be glad you asked. My next video will be about adding and subtracting integers, so please subscribe to my channel if you think that that or other pre-algebra videos could be helpful for you. Thanks for watching.